Hi, I'm Brian Herrick, and this is an art project that you can try out. This is uh, my sketchbook, and these symbol paintings are what we're going to be working on. Um, this is another sketchbook uh, drawing by my son, who gets his hands on my sketchbook sometimes. And this is uh, another example of more of those symbols. To begin, you'll need a sketchbook or a piece of paper. Uh, I used watercolor for these. I think it's a fun way to go. And I've got a couple different watercolor sets. This is from the company Case for Making in San Francisco. And I think that's a Windsor and Newton set. You don't need a really expensive set. You can get very basic watercolors from the grocery store. You'll want small brushes, number one, two, or three. Those are easiest for control for this. You can make an inclined drawing board really easily just by taking a small box and then a wooden board or even like a big book. Uh, that puts your drawing at an angle. It's nicer to look at while you're working. And then I dive in. I start with a very simple shape like a circle and then I finish and do the next shape, which might be another circle, but slightly different. So I'm iterating on each one by changing it just slightly until things start coming out. And then I add in new shapes. Um, I'm avoiding representation and I'm not overthinking it. I'm just letting the shapes happen. And if I get stuck, I go back to the first shape that I started with. It's helpful for me to consider every piece of art as an experiment. You may notice when you draw, you hunch over your work and kind of get locked in. So every once in a while I stop and I stretch and I try and move my body a little bit. This is also an opportunity to pause and take a look at your work again and sort of reinvestigate before you jump back in. I turned the time lapse off on this next square just so you could see the actual speed at which I go and sort of how slow it is. The goal for this project is honestly to have no goal. It's just to make something very slowly and pay attention. Uh, and that's mindfulness. So I often use it when I'm feeling anxious or need to just focus on my artwork or regulate. And I just sit down and let it happen. Also, this is a wonderful project if you're stuck creatively and it'll make you feel like you've done something. And I also think that you end up building your skills, brushwork, color, composition, and really the ability to access your subconscious and just let things pour out. This is play plain and simple, and a reminder that it's all an experiment. You'll end up liking some boxes more than others, and that's just the reminder that that's how it all works. If you don't like one, let it go and try a new one. For me, the most important part of this exercise is to just keep moving. Don't think about it. Just keep going one square at a time until you've filled the page. And that's just kind of a relief actually to just let it happen. If it's too overwhelming using a whole bunch of colors, you can also strip the project down to one color or ink and minimize your shapes to just one single shape. So I've got no boxes on this one, simply circles. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and check out my other videos. Have a good day.